Hey there, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new, and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I have planned for you a spirit animal oracle card reading for the week of April 13th. Now, if you're watching this video before Easter, I want to wish you a happy, abundant Easter with new beginnings and fresh, happy energies. We have a lot of exciting energy coming in. It's time to get outside in nature and watch the birds. Right next to me, I actually have a bird in a nest guarding some eggs, and it is so beautiful to just watch. And there are just so many cool things happening outside. If we go back into the natural world and we listen carefully to what animals and the trees and what nature has to say to us, we can learn a lot. So I'm gonna be using the same Spirit Animal Oracle card deck that I normally use. The Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed for spirit animal guidance and inspiration for this week of April 13th. If you would like to book a personal reading with me or get a one-on-one -on -one session with Reiki, sound therapy, or just life coaching, you can email me at weathershaman1111 at gmail.com. I'll have all of my services in the description box below. Now with all of that said, we're going to go ahead and get started. I have the same crystal that I normally use charging the deck. This is a beautiful, powerful crystal that really helps me connect with nature and the elements and really helps just open up my divine channel a little bit more. Dear angels, archangels, and ascended masters of the highest Christ delight, please help give me and the viewers of this video spirit animal guidance and inspiration for this week of April 13th for everyone's highest and greatest good. All right, so we had three that came out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle a little bit longer to try to get a few more and see what else wants to come out. Can we have a few more cards for this week of April 13th for everyone's highest and greatest good? All right, here we go. Okay, we've got quite a few. So we have horse spirit, which says freedom is yours. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that we, what we focus on grows. And so the more we focus on being free, being happy and being positive and focusing on people, places and things that lift up our vibration and make us feel free and happy to be alive, the more we're going to be free. We have to free our mind before we can feel free physically, spiritually, mentally and emotionally. So what are some ways or some things that you can do in your life to help you shift into more of a freedom mindset? I know for me going outside in nature and taking a walk and sometimes exploring in the woods off the trail can really help me to feel free and to bring out my spirit, my free spirited self. And also watching positive YouTube videos that really lift up my mood, that helps a lot too. And eating high vibrational foods, more plant-based foods, that helps me. But just know that being free is your birthright and nobody can really control you or tell you what to do or how to live your life. Ultimately, we are free. That is our sovereign freedom birthright okay so just know that you are free and if anybody tells you differently that is not the truth okay let truth transcend illusion this week we also have vulture spirit which says nothing is wasted okay i have been seeing a lot of vultures and hawks over my head and hawks and vultures also represent transmutation making the best out of the worst so when there's like a heavy situation going on in our reality such as what we're dealing with right now with this worldwide pandemic the best thing that we can do is make the best out of the worst focus on the positives look at all the ways in which we can turn the negative into a positive and flip the script Focus on gratitude. What are the main things in your life that you can be grateful for, that lift you up, and that make you feel happy and blessed to be alive? Focus on gratitude. Maybe make a gratitude list this week to remind yourself of how blessed you truly are despite the circumstances that we're all going through right now. Okay, so just remember you are an alchemist and you can transmute anything at any time to your benefit and to everyone else's benefit. We all need to be the change we wish to see, be the peace we wish to see, and be the love we wish to see this week. Okay, 
We also have Swan Spirit, which says time for a deep dive. This makes me think of diving deep into consciousness, exploring rabbit holes, exploring the unknown, digging deeper and exploring reality for what it really is, truth seeking, and also just really taking the time to stop and smell the flowers. All right, stop and smell the flowers, go outside in nature, pick some wildflowers and put them in a little cup with some water, bring them into your home. It's a beautiful free gift from nature or just go outside in nature and smell some flowers that instantly boosts our immune system and raises our vibration. We also have lion spirit, which says be generous with spirit. Lions also represent courage, okay? Be courageous this week. All right, know that you are much more powerful than what you've been told, okay? And focused intention. Be sure that what you're focusing on is of a positive nature and it is something you wish to manifest in your reality. Have courage, have faith that everything is working out for your highest and greatest good. We may not see the bigger, greater plan right now as to why all this is going on in the world, but there is a greater plan and there are beautiful things coming out of this heavy situation such as better air quality. Um, nature is just blooming fully right now in the spring season. Uh, there's beautiful things. People are connecting on a deeper soul level. There's a lot of love that has come out of this. People are connecting much more deeply. People who haven't spoken in years are reconnecting online through social media. So have faith and have courage this week. And remember, everything is working out for your highest and greatest good, my highest and greatest good, everyone's highest and greatest good, even though we may not see it at this time. The spider spirit says, make your dreams a reality. Notice all of the intricate designs of this web. Okay. So keep focusing on your dreams. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not let these current circumstances hinder you or hinder your growth. Now is the time to get creative and to indulge in hobbies that you may have been putting off. Do something different and new. Discover a new you. Discover things that hidden talents that you have been pushing aside or that you may not have discovered yet. What are some hidden talents or dreams or goals or aspirations or things that excite you that you've been pushing on the back burner for too long? Get in touch with your creative side. Do something fun and intricately weave a new web, a new design for we can rewrite the script at any time in our life and create anything we wish for we are all co-creators of our own reality. And we have seahorse spirit, which says watch and wait. Okay, so we can pray and meditate on changes we wish to see and things we wish to manifest but we need to also exercise patience and realize that everything happens in divine timing. You know, and for me, I've got to work on this too and realize that not everything is going to happen in my timing, but it happens in divine timing, in divine order. Okay, so just kind of be the observer. Take a step back this week and be the observer. Try not to engage and be plugged in to what other people's realities are, especially if they're of a lower, more negative nature. Just kind of be an observer or a bystander. Non-judgmentally observe. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And know that what we tune into is what we eventually become. So focusing on only on positive, uplifting news stories, okay? Taking a break from any heavy news stories online, tuning out certain social media sites that may not be of a higher vibrational nature. Just focus on things that make you dream and that make you feel happy and focus on people who celebrate you and uplift you and who also want to engage in positivity. For positivity boosts our immune system as one of our natural defenses. It's been proven that humans can't live long without positivity. We thrive on positivity and love and faith and abundance. And that's what we're meant to experience in this life. And then if we have any heavy energies that come in, like what's been going on globally, we can go within, heal ourselves, and remember that we can transmute anything that is not of light quickly. We can transmute anything negative or heavy into something positive, just like we can transmute sickness into perfect health. We all have the innate ability to heal ourselves physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. 
It's all about balancing those quadrants and getting back down to earth, literally. Get yourself a plant. Plant some cucumbers, okay? Plant some peas. All right, get back down to earth and treat yourself to some garden vegetables. And we also have this week Fox Spirit, which says to think on your feet, okay? So just really be sure that you're keeping a clear channel and you're remaining as conscious as possible and aware as possible. Not to be frightened or scared because fear is of a lower nature, but just to remain aware and conscious of what you're doing, where you're going, what people you're surrounding yourself with, and be sure that they all resonate with you. Be sure that you're surrounding yourself with people, places, and things that are on your level for your vibe attracts your tribe. Surround yourself with positive people, places, and things who are also on the same level in terms of what you love and enjoy in life and that have similar activities and hobbies and goals because we can all grow much more quickly together when we collaborate and we work together as a team. We're not meant to isolate and be alone. That's not good for isolation fosters depression and anxiety and addictions. So be sure you're still finding a way to stay connected and plugged in this week, whether that's online through social media, Zoom video chat, Messenger, YouTube, any way that you can feel connected to people is important right now. And we can do this both virtually online or if you feel it's safe or it's safe in your area to meet with one or two close friends who you know are safe to be around and who you love and you trust and you can take a little nature walk together. Whatever is safe for what, what you feel is safe in your community, wherever you are in the world, whether that's online or in person, find a way to stay connected and plugged in to your friends, your family, your brothers, your sisters. For being connected with each other is still really important for keeping our immune systems high too. For humans need connection. We are not meant to isolate and be alone, okay? So a feeling lonely, do whatever you can to get out of your shell this week and reach out to somebody online. It could be through an email too, or call somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Okay, we're all in this together and we are all one. And we need to remember the unity and the love and the faith in all of this. We can overcome anything together. And I'm hearing Beatles song in my head right now, come together, come together right now. So maybe uh, download that song, Come Together, and remember, we are stronger in numbers, okay? And to continue collaborating and sharing ideas with people who are like-minded souls. So once again, this week we have Horse Spirit, Embrace Your Freedom for It Is Truly Yours. And this is wonderful because we got this like a week or two ago, I believe. This is the number 33, which resonates with Christ Consciousness or Jesus. And with Easter happening this Sunday which is on April 12th. This is beautiful because this is just confirming that Jesus's energies, Christ consciousness energy is very much strong and present at this time. For now is a time of rebirth, new hope, new beginnings. We're all starting anew on a clean slate and we have rest assured that we are not alone. We have the divine, we have angels all around us. God or the universe is supporting us and is looking after us and is assisting us. We are okay, and we will continue to be okay, just as long as we have faith. So go forth in perfect love, harmony, balance, and alignment this week, and be rest assured that all is truly well. Just be sure, if you see any foxes, to think on your feet, and remember to remain conscious and aware at all times. And seahorse spirit, watch and wait, be the observer, and just kind of hang out and chill out and watch the show, and tune in only to positive vibrational things that lift you up and that make you feel inspired and healthy and happy. And Spider Spirit encourages you to get creative and to indulge in some fun hobbies and creative outlets. And Lion Spirit reminds you to have faith and courage in all that you do. Put your chin up and know that you are an amazing, beautiful human being, and you can do anything that you set your mind to. And then we have Swan Spirit that says, dive deep and explore the unknown and stop and smell the flowers and get some flowers this week to raise your vibration and know that with vultures and hawks reminding us, we can transmute anything. We can transmute sickness into health, 
negativity into positivity, darkness into light. We are master alchemists. Okay, so just remember the power you hold within and to look at things objectively from a higher point of view, just like the birds do up here in the sky. And remember, with Easter energy, we are birthing new beginnings and Jesus Christ consciousness is with us, guiding us, encouraging us in all that we do and wrapping us in unconditional love and light. So just have hope and faith and love and harmony and just encouragement that all is well. And this week, we have wonderful energies in store for us all, okay? So I'm sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.